First I want to explain why Armageddon is one of my favorite choreos this year, then I will make an updated analysis of Espa's skills. There are clear themes in the choreography. Two types of hand waves, and various body waves with different textures and timing. The use of angles, vaguely reminiscent of next level and older SM songs making the choreo line up with their broader identity as a group. The angles and control-focused parts are contrasted by sudden release and free movement. It's overall a more body control and texture-focused choreo which suits Winter and Karina. You can see how hits can be used in various ways, here they use it to initiate the movement. It's also possible to use pops at the end of a move, or even in a slightly delayed way to indicate the end of performance. I would love to see more K-pop groups utilize the various ways of incorporating hits meaningfully. An example for structure is the way they increase the number for this key move to create familiarity and build up tension. Generally picking up point moves and using them in a different context can make a choreo memorable and cohesive. It also plays to Karina's strengths that she gets the parts that use reverb and groove. The only thing I'm personally unsure about is the short version of this point move in the end. I think it looks great in the music video but a bit anticlimactic in the performances. I also wish there were more interesting poses like in the beginning. Karina often showcases nice moments through grooves and textures. Her dancing has become more controlled. She has found her style which includes incorporating rebounds effects and stops. However, her struggles with form and lines remain the same, weight shifts and overall shapes are still inconsistent. Ningning, best jazz funk foundation, she is able to dance with good form, open posture. Choreos that lean towards groove and hip-hop influence are also decent. However she is much weaker at the control and popping based choreos, she isn't able to create a proper hit. Winter, she is control focused and has the strongest pops. She is often best with small dancing and typical girl group choreo. The limits of her extensions, fluidity, and physical strength are noticeable. Giselle, I definitely take back the last place I originally gave her in the Big 3 ranking. She does keep up, showcases some more nuanced movements like reverb. Overall the control is still lacking, the details are off. I think her potential is generally in more sensual choreography that focuses more on hip movement and slower pace, maybe R&B choreo. <laughs>